What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Do you see the resemblance? This is the newest little baby Cusco. friends and family how are we doing today having a good one welcome to another beautiful wonderful warm and cold <laughs> California sunny cloudy day we are doing it big here today and by big I mean we're not doing absolutely anything we're still waiting for that baby believe it or not yep here it is Friday and we're still waiting for the baby baby is not here yet which could be good because I really would I have got a perfect song picked out for music Monday in case we get to film a baby coming into this world so hopefully that happens for us because I might have to make it music Wednesday <laughs> man it was it's like, she's gotta be coming any time now, right? I mean, we've been waiting, we've been waiting. She's gotta be here any day. So I may have stolen a little bit of footage from Wednesday's vlog to put in today's vlog. Shh, don't, don't tell anybody. Some of you guys are probably wondering, hey man, it's been a while since we've seen you. And, I, and to that I say, what are you talking about? We were just here on Wednesday. The boys have been very busy with their shovels today, doing shovel work. So busy, they decided they wanted to try and take apart this hill. We had to put a stop to that. We don't need the mountain coming down on the side of us or any part of us. They've also constructed this or and now have already deconstructed it too. I don't know what it is. Noah, what is that thing? Over there? Yeah. Still, who destroyed it? <laughs> Nobody can destroy that. We have this look on this, this mama. We have this mama Noah. Noah just recorded this section of ground for like the last 15 minutes. Let's see what that looks like. So we did just visit my cousin and him and his girl had their baby. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Do you see the resemblance? This is the newest little baby Cusco. Little girl. Newest little baby Cusco. You, you see the resemblance? She looks just like me. <laughs> Needed some baby action in our life, and my cousin, my cousin just had his baby, and well, he didn't have it. His his girl did, <laughs> but, but she, well, he's building her crib back there, and she was actually born on our girl's due date. Funny enough, but she's here, and our baby's not yet. So, figured I'd get a little practicing with a little girl. Had you guys going for a second, did I? <laughs> Sorry about that. Soon enough. Soon enough. And their due date was actually a month later than ours, and they already have their baby. We don't have our baby yet. I don't know. You guys getting tired of hearing about the baby yet? You just want to see the baby? Yeah, well, welcome to the club. Hillary's out walking right now, trying to get that baby to come out. <laughs> Tell us, mommy. Tell us what's going on. Tell us all about it. Oh, well, you know, just... Listening to how I could be pregnant for another 
two weeks. <laughs> you know, just accepting the facts that it could happen. Or not happen anytime really soon. <laughs> uh, but I'm trying to charge up hills and do whatever I can to help her along. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> just checking you out. <laughs> can you see the side belly? Uh. <laughs> the front belly. Like the side. <sighs> There's nothing we could do, right? We're not gonna rush. Well, I guess there are things we could do, but we're just gonna let nature take its course and do whatever happens. Oh my gosh, it's so bright now. The thing about the days when they're fully cloudy days is great for filming because it's just cloudy everywhere and the light is even and I don't have to worry about changing settings. When it's like this, I could be perfectly in exposure and then I could just back up right here and be like, oh my god, I'm blind! Oh. What's this Bye. Little millipede. Uh, uh, That's a baby millipede. Uh, mm -hmm. Millipede, dangerous or fast? They're slow and not dangerous. Daddy. Noah. Are centipedes faster than millipedes? Very. Are they so fast that you can't catch one? Oh, you can definitely catch one. Like Coyote Peterson did. Remember how he got bit by a giant desert centipede and it hurt him so bad because it's got venom and it has tiny hooks on its legs. This guy has been just loving Coyote Peterson, man. I think the guy's entertaining for sure. Noah's been learning a ton from his channel, which is fantastic. You guys want to go down and check out the big log? Yeah. Yeah. It's one of those days where it can't decide if it wants to be sunny or cloudy. And man, it's messing with my camera work. Just gonna have to deal with it. Get dark, get light, get dark, get light, get dark, get light, get dark, light, dark, light, dark, light. Let's see what we can find in the log. Daddy, What's what that? animal lives in the log? Well, start beating on it. What? Don't beat on it. Why? Because you guys know that animals live in there. Why are you beating it with your sticks and your shovels, huh? Animals should live under or in. Yeah, but why are you going to beat on it? You want some somebody to come beat on our roof? No. Okay, then don't do it to somebody else. Fine. How many times do I have to tell you? Two. <laughs> Yeah. Don't see any lizards. Yep, I don't see any anything. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. What? The Jerusalem cricket. Don't see it. I have to zoom in. Still. Aha, see it. So that little beast is a Jerusalem cricket. They've got some pretty nice sized jaws. I've never been bit by one before. I'm not gonna find out how strong its jaws are though. Look, they look pretty strong. Looks like a big crazy striped ant or something. Pretty cool. Yeah. Lizard! Where? Oh wow. He's fast, you gotta get him. He's fast, you gotta get him. Go quick. He's not gonna hurt you. You just gotta get, you just gotta grab him quick. Grab him quick? Yeah, he's right there. Hurry up, gotta grab him. I got one. There you go. Should we check under this next log and see what's going on? Yeah. 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 Oh! That's a big ant right there.
if you follow us on Instagram, then you've you've probably seen these two lizards before, because they live down here in these logs. It's like our our pets that live outside the house, kind of at this point. <laughs> What's up? Yeah. If you guys watch Miguel's channel over at Always Evolving Pythons, I have never tried this before, but he showed me a little sneak peek today of, of the vlog he's gonna be uploading, and it's pretty sweet. You should go check it out. First of all, Miguel at Always Evolving Pythons YouTube channel. If you, I'm sure most of you know, but just in case, there's a link right down there in the description where you can find it. I've always wanted to do this, and he inspired me to do this. I've seen people do it all the time. I know what the technique is to do it. I've just never done it before, so I figured out I'd give it a go because it's warm in here. I've got a female reticulated python that just shed out. I'm gonna clean it out. I gotta take this stuff off and quickly. Oh no, I wanted to keep the shirt on. Okay, hopefully that was as awesome as other people do it. <laughs> so Miguel actually inspires me a lot, and uh, thank you Miguel for all the inspiration, and we're thinking about getting married. <laughs> Believe it or not. So there it goes. As you can see, it looks like she did a pretty decent job shedding out. You can tell by this piece right here. I've never seen a reticulated python have like a complete shed. Not an adult at least. I've had babies shed out full sheds all the time, but no matter what it seems I do, no matter how much I bump humidity around the shed time and this or that, it, I've never seen an adult reticulated python have a full, complete shed. I'm not saying it hasn't happened ever, but if you've seen one, if you have a reticulated python that's had a complete shed, show me a picture. I have never seen it. That's just interesting. Look at her head. She, like, she lost pigment on the top of her head. That's trippy. Yeah, she's not missing scales. It's like the actual pigment is changing. That's pretty tripped out. I do know that the super form of a phantom is a leucistic animal, you know, a blue-eyed white snake. So I wonder if that has something to do with that. Interesting. This is Patsy LaRue. She is the girl that was named after my wife's grandma, the one that Laura brought to my wife's grandmother's house that day. If you haven't watched this week's episode of Triple B TV, interview with Laura Brewer, you guys go check that out. Laura is awesome. She brought me this snake one of the first times I met the Brewer family. You guys gotta go check out that interview, man. She's sweet. As for me, I gotta clean this cage. Pretty nice. I think I'm gonna curl up there tonight. Yep. All right. Good night, guys. One thing I want to make sure I don't forget is to give shout outs to some of our fellow Patreon supporters, Patreon family, Delanor Osmer, Larry Dutro, Sarah Hoyt, Drew Bonvenuto, Marshall Platts. These guys have been supporting our Patreon. If you guys haven't been supporting our Patreon, I don't know what you're doing. You're sitting over there sleeping, not doing anything. I mean, you're missing out on the biggest... <laughs> I'm just kidding guy. I appreciate every single one of you But I got to give a shout out to those guys because they're making things awesome things are happening over there That are just you guys are missing it. You guys are missing it. If you're not on it, you don't know what's happening. Then I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm Very sorry, but hey, we can't always all do everything all the time and I get it. All right. I get it. I get it. I do so Thanks guys really appreciate it. I know some of you folks over there on patreon are like he never posts anything there ever ever Shh, Don't tell him that No. Um, oh, scorpion. Do you know any Eli? Do you know any? Do you know? Do you know anything? Besides, do you know anything besides scorpions? Yeah. What? Happiness. No. Do you know anything besides scorpions? Um. Eyes? Yeah. What about eyes?
because her pen is antiques. <laughs> what you want to do? What kind of thing? Mommy's in her room. Mommy's in here. I heard honey shaky. Oh, you can see the other end. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to show my shaky. Eli, what do you think about that snakey? I'm cute. Yeah? Yeah. You just gonna hold it all night? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, gotta use the skin. Use the skin. Noah. Oh, tiny snakey.